Hi guys, it's Dan and Becky from Bugs on the Windshield. morning was really nice it was really clear it looked like we thought we had plenty of time to uh, go ride and as we were coming you know do some clearings there we noticed the cloud kind of starting to build up and thought maybe we better hurry up and get back to our camp my hair's sticking up it looks good <laughs> you should do it like that all the time yeah. We like to go to the state parks or places that don't always have full hookups and a lot of times we get really close on running out of the shower, water, or maybe even the black tank gets kind of full. So we've been kind of looking at these things online, the, the rhino tanks that will help you. You can fill those up and kind of give yourself some more space in your tanks so you don't run out of shower space. Uh, so we bought one this year and we used it when we were in Mulberry Mountain. <laughs> Actually, I love this part of the video. It's really funny. It was getting ready to rain. It was starting to sprinkle on us and Dan was trying to hurry I was trying up. to hurry and, and I... <laughs> and was... the flies were biting really hard and everything and you can see him like slapping at his legs and stuff. <laughs> uh, but we ended up getting it done in enough time. Oh yeah, we got to, we got it. We were able to fill it back, fill it up, get it hauled off, dump it and get back and get it put away before the storm rolled in. And boy, did it roll in. Okay, what you doing, Dan? That way you can see it. Oh, boy. It's starting to rain, so we're kind of hurrying. <laughs> And boy, did it roll in. It did. We really got rained on. The trailer was moving and the trees were blowing and uh, it was just pouring down rain. Yeah, we, but it only lasted about 45 minutes. We had enough time to take our showers yep, and to have up. some lunch. And then, uh, you know. And then we thought, well, then it cleared up and then it, the sky it just opened up like we were ready to go. It looked like the water, the the uh, ground and the grass and the dirt that's kind of around the uh, campsite dried up pretty well. Not totally, but pretty well. And it was drying up pretty fast after the sun came back out. Um, and so something kind of funny happens with the razor when it rains a lot. Uh, we have a we have a roof on it, and what does it yeah, do? Yeah, it, it just it, it collected water. Um, it was <laughs> a it lot was, of water. A lot of water. It was apparently wasn't as tight as it should have been on the razor or it just had so much force of water coming out and pushed it down it was full of water full of water yes and so i was gonna we were gonna go out and film it and well here's what happened okay <laughs> okay i think we're recording what are you gonna do here's what happened we had a bad storm come in and then oh
Wait, wait. Okay, that one, first one was a disaster. <laughs> okay, I'm not so bad. <laughs> what a mess. Okay, actually, it just happened and everything looks to be clearing up, except for, uh, you know, the water from the, the roof of the... <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, look at you. Let's see your back. Yeah, you're wet. <laughs> yeah. I ended up stepping in the mud, so I had to change my shoes. After the storm passed, we headed out to explore some of the wineries nearby in Altus, Arkansas. That turned out to be quite the gem. We stopped at our first winery. It was a really pretty place and the wine is really good. We did a tasting and decided on some wine. Then, right as we were leaving, it started raining. I think the earlier storm caught up to us. One of the employees at the winery grabbed some umbrellas and walked us out to the truck. By that time, more people showed up and he'd walked them in with the umbrellas. I thought that was really nice. Next stop was the Post Winery. We hung out there for a while, did some tasting, and ended up buying some more wine to bring home. The drive out and back to Altus is really pretty. We enjoyed it and we plan to go back sometime soon. When it's wet and rainy at the campground, we cook inside. Dinner was delicious. We stayed in for the evening and watched an old movie. I think it was Cannonball Run. What a great evening. And we couldn't resist just one last ride in the resort and one last look at this really pretty view. The next day we headed to Branson, Missouri. We met up with Dan's brother at Lambert's, the home of the Throwed Rolls. Is that hard to say or what? We did some sightseeing in Branson and stopped by Smith Creek Moonshine in time for a tasting and some lunch. This was our Pinterest fail. Biscuit on a stick with whip topping was a no-go for us. <laughs> Maybe next time. If you like our video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like our channel, please subscribe.